What's going on guys? It's Friday, April 20th, and uh, we are one day away from my track day, which is tomorrow, April 21st. So I finally got in touch with uh, Ian, or actually he finally got in touch with me, I should say, and his tuner Brian uh, told me that basically it has to do with the flat foot shifting uh, being set at 5400 RPM, because when they looked at my data logs, they said that that boost cut slash field cut, whatever you want to call it, happens exactly at 5400 RPM. So he had talked to me and he said for me to set my flat foot shifting at 6,000 RPM, which I did so far. And uh, right now, I'm just running the regular 93 octane tune. But I'm gonna go uh, fill up with uh, just about three to three and a half gallons of 85 uh, because I still have about almost a half a tank of gas. So I'm gonna do that. And then uh, tomorrow I'm hoping the track will be open. I mean, it's been nice and sunny. The weather's been like enjoyable and I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully put up some good rooms and get some faster cars. So uh, I do have flat with a shifting able to 6,000 RPM. I'm going to test it real quick. Feels pretty good. Uh, I don't, I, like I said, I'm not on the E32 right now, but uh, I'm going to go uh, right now actually to the uh, E85 station, which I haven't been to. It's kind of uh, near my designated back road. I'm gonna fill up with about three and a half gallons, three and a half to almost four gallons of E85, and then switch over to E32, which will prepare me for tomorrow. So my plans for tomorrow, I'm out of breath, I just got from the gym. So my plans for tomorrow is I'm gonna take out my spare tire, my jack, which will remove about 40, 46 pounds. Try to take everything out, I do have some things in my car, take whatever I can out to uh, have some weight savings, and then I'm probably gonna have around a half a tank of the E30 blend uh, total uh, feel, so I'll have enough to get back all that stuff and still have some E30 to play with uh, when I get back uh, in my town. So uh, yeah, so it'll be Route 66, I guess it'll open at 9 o'clock, and it goes on till 3 p.m. I'm not gonna stay till 3 p.m., but I'm gonna stay as long as I possibly can. And yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. And I'm really hoping that they will have the track open. There's no rain, uh, it's gonna be kind of sunny tomorrow. Uh, the high, I believe, was 57, which is a little bit chilly but I think uh, everything will be okay, which is what I'm most looking forward to as uh, an awesome track day and a nice sunny weather. So that's what I'm most looking forward to. And then putting down some solid runs. I'm pretty sure if everything goes okay, if I don't have any issues, uh, I could probably do a 13-2, probably quarter mile, maybe 108, I'm hoping, which is what I'm kind of shooting for. So I'm hoping for the best. So I got my helmet in my car, I got everything prepared. I'm gonna bring some food with me, so I don't have to pay for the expensive uh, catering over there and I'm gonna have a good time and of course record everything. Uh, as for the footage, I probably won't have it up till probably Monday I would assume, uh, the latest, but I'll try to get it up by Sunday because it'll be a lot of footage I gotta go through and stuff. Uh, very big files like studio 4K videos. I mean some of these videos, even these short 10 minute ones, I mean they're like between eight and take you eight to ten gigabytes and that takes a lot of uh, uploading so and then editing it obviously requires a pretty you know up-to-date computer that's uh, much more uh, higher bit rate than standard uh, to the so. so yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do any pulls. I'm off at the night, route 59 now, but I'm at least going to get to that E85 station and just uh, probably close out the video when I get over there. But uh, just wanted to say I'm really looking forward to everything being okay and I'm hoping that there's an issue with the flat mission thing uh, will be uh, solved when I set it to uh, 6,000 RPM. Which I just tested early, it felt pretty good. I didn't have any problems, but uh, we'll see. This light here is a red light camera. It looked like somebody, it looked like it did, took a picture, but uh, I always kind of be careful with this light because that could be an expensive ticket. So let's see, what else is there to talk about? Cars doing awesome. Uh, I did run almost an entire tinkle feel of 93 acting tune. Uh, 93 octane tune, talking funny. 93 octane gas uh, with the regular 93 tune. And uh, I did fill up again a little bit just to kind of have a little bit more for when I get this E85. The car's doing awesome. Everything holding up nicely. Clutch feels good. And uh, just looking forward to uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna just do a mini launch, nothing too drastic. Just to test out the five minutes of thing. Yeah, that's pretty bad. It felt pretty good, man. It didn't really see any problems. So 
I will uh, wait till I get closer to that E85 station. I'm gonna do this for a little bit later. So, uh, see you guys soon. What's going on, guys? Continue the video behind the slow truck on uh, this road, but just slowly and surely getting over to that uh, E85 station. What I think is, I will uh, switch when, when I feel feel up. I will uh, switch over to the other tune, the E30 tune, and then wait about 15 minutes, and maybe I'll do a quick little few little pulls once I. Uh, get the car adjusted to the E30 uh, blend and maybe do a quick pull. So maybe try to at least do one quick uh, launch to see if that uh, the issue is gone with the fuel cut or boost cut or whatever you want to call it. So I guess uh, we'll see what happens and I'm hoping uh, it, this will solve the issue. So far, what I've tested so far with the flat foot, flat foot shifting at 6,000 RPM, it felt pretty good. It didn't really sound like it was too high or didn't really hear any problems with it. At least a few tests I just did. But I can make out the gas station comes up ahead so I'm almost there and then uh, I will continue this for a little bit later hopefully with the launch to see if uh, I can take off properly but yeah over here there's a lot of cornfields and stuff so it only makes sense that they would have a uh, station that does E85 I will uh, fill up now. I'm gonna go ahead and switch uh, the tune real quick. So I'm gonna go to tune. Oh, let me first turn the car, of course. Change map. Turn off that. Reflash. E30. Okay, and I will continue this a little bit later after I run my car for 15 minutes. See you guys soon. Peace. I'm gonna make an attempt to do a zero to 60. I did uh, run my car for 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, I guess uh, let's hope for the best here. Fluffy shifting's able at 6,000 uh, RPM. Full stage of traction is off. And uh, okay, I do have one car behind me, which kind of sucks, but oh well.
like uh, lines from zero to sixty. It's crazy. Like there's just so much wheel spin that the car actually slides. Like an all-wheel drive slide. So yeah, I guess that'll kind of do it. And then I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys for a lot of subscriptions. As always, you got a question or comment for leaving one. And uh, wish me luck. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And anybody's in town, do you show up? It uh, opens at 9 a.m., goes on to 3 p.m., uh, Route 66. Uh, and I'll see you guys there. Peace out.